Hello, hello. Okay, I need to grab scissors. Hold on. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to do our Santa Claus today. Um, we are going to do his face and hat, and then tomorrow we will do his... Um, the white on his hat and his beard. So we're going to do turkey work tomorrow. Um, so I want to do just one day dedicated to that. So um, I'm going to start. What do we want to do? Do we want to do his face first? Let's do his face first. Okay. So the pink. DMC 225 for his nose. And 951 for his face. Hey Courtney. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're just gonna do satin stitch and then we'll do his eyes um when we do French knots. So I don't want this to get too bulky, so I'm just gonna use four strands. So glad you could join us today. We're kind of small in numbers. It's just you and me and Nola. Okay, so I've got four strands of this 225. It's just barely pink. So it'll just help his nose look a little bit rosy. Okay, so I'm just gonna do just his nose. I'm gonna outline it a little bit darker because I want to. With circles, I always wanna make sure that I stay on the line. Um, because we wanna keep that circle, okay. Oh, I have my pen out. Okay, so I'm gonna start in the middle. So same as with our leaves that we wanted rounded, we're gonna do the same thing with our nose. To keep it rounded, we have to have like two stitches that are the same length, so we're gonna come back over here and just go right next to it so that those two are parallel. And then we'll start to round that out. And then when we do his face, we'll do it vertical satin, stri satin stitches. Okay, so this bottom, so to keep it rounded at the bottom so it's not super straight, I'm gonna go come up at an angle underneath. And then I'm gonna go back down at an angle to kind of tuck it underneath so it just like pokes out.
And we'll do this other side. Cute little button nose. Oh my goodness, look at all of our friends coming in. Christy, good morning. Crystal, hello. Okay, I think I'm just going to do one more here. So I'm just going to go and do that same thing. Come up at an angle, go down at an angle. And just round out that little circle. That's it. That's his nose. Oh my gosh, it's so cute already. Tie that off real quick. Okay. So I'm gonna want I wanna keep the keep his face consistent. So what however many strands you're using for the nose, use the same for the face. So I used four for the nose, so I'm gonna use four for the face. Ouch. Have my very sharp needle today. And I'm already Injuring myself. Courtney must have a child touching her phone. <laughs> okay. So I am going to just start on this edge and just work my way into the beard. Sorry, Eliza is insisting on holding it. What a nice little helper. Okay, so we're going to follow these curves from his beard. I got to turn this a little bit towards me. She just said her talking to me. Hi, Eliza. You be nice. Don't push buttons on mom's phone. <laughs> Mom, I love her. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. If you haven't seen pictures of Courtney's kids, you are missing out. They are adorable. Okay, so with right by his nose, I want his nose to stick out. So I'm putting my stitches like under the stitches of his nose. We probably should have done his nose second, but too late. It's already done. And this will be fine. We're gonna learn a new stitch for his hat, so don't worry. We won't be doing more satin stitch. You guys are not gonna be nearly as entertained today. Roman has already eaten breakfast and he is having some TV time and we have no extra kids. So I doubt he's going to be climbing into the fridge today. Everybody that wasn't here yesterday, you missed out. Oh my gosh, I think I'm barely gonna make it. 
I'm going to do, okay, so I only have a little bit of thread left. I don't want to have to cut a new piece. So I ended here. Normally I would come up here and go down, but I'm going to go over here and go up so I can save some thread so that I don't have to cut another piece because I don't want to do that. Okay, I have enough to go back up here and finish that off. There, that worked out perfectly. Okay, so there's Santa's cute little face. So we will do eyes on French Knot Day and then we'll do beard um, tomorrow. So let's do the red of his hat. And then we'll call it a day. Okay, time for Santa's hat. So I'm gonna use DMC 666. Um, if you want to add some sparkle, I'm not gonna do sparkle on his hat, I just got the sparkle for the ornaments, but if you wanted Santa hat to have a sparkly hat, you could add in some um, of the Atole, the C666. So whatever you wanna do there, I support you. Um, I'm gonna use um, all six strands of this. So if you're going to do both the cotton and, I mean, you could do all sparkle if you wanted, um, or you can, I like to mix them just because I think it is good texture. I don't know. keeps it a little bit smoother. Um, but maybe do like four and two or three and three. If you're going to do half and half or some of both. I'm going to let you decide with your heart what you want to do. Okay, so we are going to do chain stitch and reverse chain stitch. So I'll show you how to do both. And you can pick what you want to do. I prefer reverse chain stitch, but I know not everyone does. So I'm going to teach you both. And then if one's easier than the other, then you can do that one. Okay, so with chain stitch, we've got a knot at the end. We're gonna start here. So like we were doing with our um, Lazy Daisies or detached chain, chain stitch, like on these lighter ones, um, we're gonna go in and out of this same hole. Just be careful of that knot. And then we're gonna come up on our line and pull it snug. And then we're gonna go back down in that same hole. And then we're gonna make our next chain. So we're gonna come up here. Hang on, I've got a knot. There we go. Okay, so then we're just gonna keep doing that. We're gonna go back down in this same hole. Then we're gonna come up in our loop and pull that snug and then go back down. That my friends is a chain stitch. So each stitch just connects the next one. This is really nice for curved lines because if you make your stitches just a little bit smaller, like if you have a really tight curve, um, it just creates a really nice curve. So we're going to do this all the way to the end of the hat. And then we'll go back the other way and we'll do a reverse chain stitch so you can see that. Actually, this might be easier with a chain stitch rather than a reverse now that I think about it. But I'll show you why in just a second. 
Hold on, my loop got twisted. Okay, so this is gonna be our last chain. So when we get to the end, we do like we did with our detached chain stitches. We come up, we pull it snug, and then we tack it down on the other side of the loop. And that, in, that will end our chain. Okay? So with reverse chain stitch, we do the opposite. So we start, um, we go backwards. So we're gonna start here and go down in the same hole and create that first loop. And tack that down. And then we're gonna go over here. So we're gonna go, we're working our way backwards. So this next one is gonna come here and then go and loop under this to create that chain. That's why I'm thinking when we do this, a regular chain stitch might be easier because then we're not trying to weave through stitches that are already there. But we come up, we loop through the bottom of that chain, and then we go back down. So I really like a reverse chain stitch for like lettering. So when I'm go when I'm doing it like this, I make sure that my needle is going away from the stitches so I don't snag anything. Like I don't want to go under this way because I'm I'll snag those or I'll be more likely to snag those. Yeah, I think chain stitch is going to be easier for this than a reverse chain stitch, but you can do whatever you want. And I'm not usually one that promotes chain stitch because I don't, I just don't love it. I prefer to do it this way, but now that I'm thinking, I'm going to do the rest of it, a regular chain stitch. We're just doing these close enough together that it just fills in the space and it kind of gives Santa like a knitted hat look. Okay, that's our second line. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a regular chain stitch now. So normally, I would say stick with one or the other because right now all of our chain is going the same way, and so it, which you can do. But I liked the last time I did this; they were all they were going opposite directions. So when I went this way. Like the stitches went this way and then the chain switched and went this way. So it was kind of fun. I mean, it's, it doesn't look so different that if you want to practice both, you could. But it does change the look a little bit.
Okay, and then once you start to get... Um, oh, shoot, I pulled that all the way through. What was I thinking? Silly, silly me. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, goodness, I've got a mess here. Hold on. Hold on, I gotta unstitch all this. I've got like this tiny little bit that I accidentally pulled my needle all the way through. goodness <laughs> I've got this like little knot right here now oh my goodness you guys Got quite the mess going on here. Ah! I have to take this out of my hoop stand. Hold on. So I can flip this over. Pull this out. See? I did another one right there. goodness Let's see if it's easier to pull it from this way I need to start this whole chain over okay Okay, we're back to the beginning. Okay, try not to talk while I get a little crazy. All right, happens to the best of us. It's true. Okay. Just start over on that one. Okay, here we go. Starting over. Pay attention to what you're doing so you don't pull your thread all the way through. Okay, so once you get closer to this edge right here, we just want to start tapering it off. So just make sure you stop like, like right here instead of going like all the way. That's what I was trying to say last time before I <laughs> forgot what I was doing. Okay. So I'm gonna tack that down. And then because I have all of these going the same direction, I'm just gonna keep them all going the same direction. So I'm gonna come back over here and start again. Just for consistency. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, I'll post it in my stories too as a reminder, but um, 
I have a dentist appointment tomorrow morning, so I should be back on time, but I'm a little bit worried because sometimes my dentist's office is really slow. But I wanted, I went like first thing in the morning so that I could be back on time. But I'm still worried because sometimes, love from South Africa, hello. Um, they sometimes are really slow. So um, I'm planning on 10.30 tomorrow instead of 10. Because I want to make sure we're all on the same page. Hello, hello. You are not missing drama like yesterday. Misty blue. Okay, so I just ended that one a little bit early and then I'm just gonna do like from here to here, just like a really short chain just to like finish it off. Hello. We have no popsicle grabbers today. Okay, we're just going to I'm just going to do one just attached chain stitch here. Go in and out of that same hole. And then just tack it down over here on the edge. And then Santa has a cute little knit hat. There. That's it. That's it for today. Okay, so... Um... We'll finish the hat tomorrow. I just want a full day for turkey work because it has a lot of steps involved. So um, we'll do Mom. the rest of his hat tomorrow. Mommy, what, I got my hat. You washed your hands? Yeah. Thank you. Um, so we'll do his hat. And then you. I'm going to let you choose if you want to do a turkey work beard or French knots. I'm going to do French knots because I don't love turkey work. Hey, Roman, hmm? take that in the other room, please. Um, I don't love turkey work, so I'm just going to keep it to just his hat, but you could do his beard if you like it, or you could do French knots. So anyways, that's what we're going to do tomorrow. And then you'll have the week to kind of catch or the weekend to catch up. And then next week we'll do the other stuff. So anyways, that is it for me today. You guys enjoy your Thursday um, I'm feeling good because I am 100% caught up. I don't have any homework, <laughs> which is strange because I always have homework. So anyways, I will see you tomorrow at 1030 Mountain Standard Time. Bye.